I want to remind you of the irony that most of you are not religious. Most of you are not Christian. We've had that conversation before. With that being said, this video is about something that the pastor of my church said this past Sunday. And that was that people expect things to change without having to change themselves. And so this is one of those psychological hair loss videos because I think that's what happens to a lot of people who wash up on the shores of my channel. Nick, save me. What is the cure for hair loss? Save me. Tell me, please take my money. Shut up and take my money. What product can I use to save my hair? Nick, save me. And in reality, the only cure I feel that I have for anyone is that they overcome their hair loss psychologically. My whole thing is you have to be the one willing to change because it's things aren't going to change until you do. Things aren't going to change until you do. And it's, it's like Maxwell Smart recently said uh, in a video uh, that I made talking about you can either accept your hair loss or you can fight it at any price. But I think that's a lot of people. They do not want to be the change. So since they don't want to be the change, they want things to change without them and they catch up to that change. But Nick Shell doesn't teach that. Nick Shell teaches that the easiest way to cure hair loss is to be able to change your mind. I'm the head honcho of hair loss. That's what I do. I'm the head honcho of hair loss and I say, the sooner you can be the one that changes, then the sooner it's gonna be better for you. Either you're gonna fight this thing at any cost or you're going to accept it. You can't expect things to change until you're willing to change yourself. And, and when I, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, I always talked about people who are victorious versus people who are victims. The default is to play the part of the victim. Oh no, I can't believe this has happened to me. Versus a victorious mindset that says, I don't like what's happening, but I'd rather do something about it. I'd rather shift my identity to try to match what is going on. That way I can be victorious in the situation in the same way that Bruce Willis recently on his comedy Central Roast talked about how he was over to, uh, he was able to overcome male pattern baldness. He has made a career out of being a bald man and a very masculine man. He found a way to deal with it. He found a way to be the change instead of expect the change to happen. But the problem psychologically is the people who most need to hear this message I'm saying right now are closed minded to it. They've got identity protective cognition against what I'm saying. And they're going to say that what I'm saying in this video is BS, that I'm telling lies, lies, lies. Nick Shell doesn't really want to help anybody. Nick, shut up and take my money. Tell me something I can buy that will save me, Nick. But if you're asking the real Nick Shell, I'm going to say you have to be the one to change. Or like Max says, like Max says on this note here, he says otherwise you're going to fight hair loss at any price. But I think even by reinventing yourself, by shifting into the bald guy, the bald guy young, the guy that shaves it off young, I think that's a more legitimate fight because it's a fight that you can actually win and you can win it much quicker than spending your whole life trying to stop something that's inevitable. Because we know that hair loss treatments, there's still side effects. There's no guarantee they're going to work, you know, and even Donald Trump, he had like the weird 1970s, 80s hair transplant where he doesn't have hair back here. He, he doesn't have hair in certain parts of his scalp because they, took it away and put it up there. So he has to keep his hair that long in that style for it not to be obvious that he had a hair transplant. And on top of that, he takes Propecia. Talk about someone who is fighting hair loss at any cost. Donald Trump is. And for me, I, I don't want to be Donald Trump. I want to be Bruce Willis when my time comes. I am Nick Shell. I am the head honcho of hair loss.